VidTune Walkthrough. Welcome back VidTuners. We hope you are as excited as we are to create some awesome video animations the easy way. In this video we want to give you a quick, but helpful walkthrough, so you know where everything is located inside the application in just a few minutes. So let's get you started. Creating a project. The first thing you need to do to start using VidTune is to assign a name to your new project, click on the enter text label and add your desired name. Below you will notice the dimensional preset tab, click on it and select which video resolution you want. Application walkthrough. The first thing you will notice at the left side of the application will be the settings icon. As you see this icon is disabled. And that is because you firstly need to add elements to the timeline, so this button can be activated. Here in the settings icon you will be able to edit each element added to the timeline. In the right side you will see the new project icon, and if you click on it you will be asked to save the project you have just create, we advise you to save it on your desktop for easy finding. And then you will be sent back to the first page where you create a new project or load one that you already have. This time let me show you how to load an existing project. So click on load existing project. Look for your VidTune project which will be a .vep file, select it and click on load. And this is how you access a VidTune project of your choice. The minimize icon will do just that minimize the application, and you can get back inside again by clicking on the VidTune icon in your taskbar. The exit icon will simply exit the application, but I won't do that for now. In the bottom left side you will find the image, the character, and the audio icons, and a newly added tab for videos. But those ones are only used to identify the four main layers of the timeline. The big black screen is where you will be able to preview the animations being created. Below it you will see the play and stop icons, as well as the audio icon for muting and unmuting the sound of the animation, and a plus and minus icon, you use these icons to increase or decrease the number of seconds you want your animation to last, you can also set a custom duration by double clicking in the time indicator here. The maximum length of time you can create an animation is unlimited, that's right guys you can create animations as long as you want. Below those buttons you will see the timeline. The first layer is the time layer, which you will be able to move to the right or left so you can edit your project in a different segments of its length. The second layer is the zoom effect, you can add zoom to your video and adjust it, and you can add as much zoom effects as you want. The third layer is the image layer, here you will be able to drop all the backgrounds and other images you'll be using in your project. The fourth layer is the character layer, here you will be able to drop all the characters you will be using in your project. The text layer, where you can drop text and edit it the way you want. Also a new video layer where you can add videos and use them in your projects. And lastly the fifth layer is the audio layer, which is where you will add all audio files like music or external audio files you will be using in your project. And this red line you see here is the cursor, which you can use to preview specific places of your project in the timeline. Then we come to the cool stuff which is located to the left side of the application. On top you see the backgrounds, here you will find several HD backgrounds you can use for different scenes. And below it you'll find the gallery, which is where you will be able to upload all types of PNG, JPG, and even GIF images. This means you can upload additional backgrounds, logos and objects, as well as additional animated characters. In characters you will find all type of awesome animated characters you can use in many different projects in a wide variety of niches.
You can use the search bar to find any character in particular. The three icons below are for resources you can use like images from Pixabay, icons from Icon Finder, and GIFs from Giphy. You can simply search anything you want, download it by clicking here, and it will be directed to your gallery. Then comes the TTS slash record, where you will be able to add voice to your animations by using the Google's text-to-speech service. The inbuilt text-to-speech feature we have included with Vidtoon. Hello world. Or by even recording your own voice. In texts, you will be able to add text to your scenes. In music, you will find many music tracks to add to your animations. You can even upload other music tracks as well as other audio files such as voiceover by a third person of your choice. This new tab here is for transitions, you can add transitions to your timeline directly now. Another newly added tab is videos, here you can upload any video you want and use it inside the tune. And once your project is done, you simply click on the export icon to create your video in MP4 format. The little setting icon in the right side is where you can add your personal API code for Pixabay, Icon Finder or Giphy. And that's about it with the Vidtoon walkthrough, you now know where everything is located. So continue now with the following video which will show you how to use backgrounds with Vidtoon. So, see you there.